Hey everyone, what's up? It's Daniel Pro here, and uh, I'd like to show everyone my particle system. Um, I'm not gonna lie, my blood pressure literally was like at 150 earlier because I was stressing out, uh, trying to figure out all the bugs, but I finally got everything figured out. Um, this, uh, well, the generate button doesn't work yet, but then again, it's not really gonna be released yet. But um, yeah, as you guys know, I'm kind of making my own little API thing, um, sort of like a game engine, but not really a game engine. Because making a GUI in JavaScript is a little bit too uh, difficult uh, because the way that the browsers kind of work. Anyways, enough of me babbling. Check this out. See? Cool, huh? All right, so you can change the amount of particles, and they're always random. You can constantly add more. You can see how many particles are processing uh, here. There are still a few bugs. Like, for some unknown reason, there's one particle that's always processing. I have no idea why. <laughs> Uh, you can also change the blend type. Uh, let's do screen. As you can see, it uh, brightens everything. It's really, really fun uh, to play around with this. The 200 particles again. Uh, you can do all, you can do different things. Like here, for example, dot, bunch of faces, <laughs> um, or orb. If you want other things like fire effects, sort of. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. A lot of uh, confusing code was involved. As you can see, there's they rotate. You can change everything: the scaling, random rotation, random lifespan, and random everything. So let's do um, random axes in a 44. And if you do zero, they'll all start at the center completely. You can see here. Uh, you can play around with it and do like a ton of particles, but do expect some lag because there's a ton of processing going on um, with all this. So it will lag a lot, probably. But yeah, uh, it's a lot of fun to just kind of goof around. Let's do 0 0.25 for the next scale. And um, yeah, as you can see, they actually do stop processing. Uh, this is one of the more, well, one of the more things that I'm kind of proud of, especially because uh, back in the day when I used to make particle engines, I just kind of like had a, a range. Like you, you effect particles 0 through whatever, and like it processes... Uh, than based on that. And like you can't constantly generate more particles. But now you can. Uh, as you can see there's 200 and now I can increase that to 400. Um, or in this case 401 because there's always that one random particle. I have no idea why. Um, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that is interesting. I might be able to fix that bug. But let, uh, let me know what you guys think of this. Um, for example, we can let's set this to zero. Uh, make it rain. Cool. Uh, let's see. So instead of, or you know what? Let's set it to back to 240. Um, let's do 480 for the random here. You can see there's like a line now of stars. But yeah, there's there's all kinds of really fun things you can do with this. Let's do multiply. A bunch of particles were on the screen there. It does not use OpenGL at all, or WebGL. It's just 2D stuff. Oh, well, that's so cool, though. Seriously. Um, the Z thing is there to determine which draw, uh, which particle gets drawn in front and or behind the other. Obviously, um, works pretty well. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. Oh, and it's a lot of fun if you want to do stuff like this. Like, you uh, wait for there to be stuff on the screen. Uh, and then you can like actually, hang on. you can actually uh, paste it and you can like see the image and whatnot. It's pretty cool. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all later. Peace out.